Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine with another unboxing video. And this one is Bill Bruford's career spanning box set, which has only recently arrived in record stores, hopefully near you. Now, this is um, similar in design to the Sabbath uh, deluxe editions, you know, box with CDs and etc. And it's about priced at about £50, which I think is fine because there are so many artists on here that Bill Bruford has been involved with. And that always means there's been lots of record labels, lots of different publishers. And to put a box together like this, you've got to get in touch with so many different people and everybody wants to know what's in it for them. So I understand that there's a maybe one or two things that didn't quite make the box because I couldn't make an agreement with the publishing, i.e. somebody wouldn't agree to play ball probably with doing it for the right costs. So to keep this around that price point must have been quite difficult. And I can't say I've played it all yet um, because I haven't, because it, <laughs> there's absolutely so much stuff in here. So without further ado, let's have a look inside. Bill Bruford, Making a Song and Dance, a complete career collection. So the box set itself is a similar design to the Black Sabbath um, Deluxe Editions. So we'll just take off the box lid and inside is a booklet, which I'll, book, book, hardback book, which I'll go through last of all. There's a poster, which I always feel these are kind of like almost surplus to requirements really. So it's a fold out picture of the front cover of the box set. And it says here the little thing that's stuck on the front. It's a deluxe six CD box set, four decades career spanning collection by the legendary drummer. Yes, King Crimson, Bill Bruford's Earthworks, Camza Wannabe, Steve Howe, Chris Squire, Dave Torn, Roy Harper, and more, Michael Bootstrap, and a 52 page booklet with comprehensive notes by Bill Fru Bruford and Rare and Unseen Photos, and an A3 poster, BMG. There are six CDs, but they're in three double packs. So all themed together. Um, so you've got, this one's called The Collaborator. I'm not sure they could have had more pictures on the inside, but that's a small thing really. Um, so this one is obviously goes through, yes, King Crimson, UK, Anderson, Bruford, Wegman, Howe, King Crimson, etc. And the next one is called The Composing Leader. So this is lots of Bruford, these solo albums, etc. Some great stuff on there. Um, as I said, this is the stuff I'm not familiar with, so this is my reason why I went for this, really. And then you've got special guest and improviser. And again, this is something that I think people are going to really be into. Roy Harper, Chris Squire, Adam Miola, um, all sorts of people, Buddy Rich, lots of improvising, improvising, etc. And in the booklet, as I say, it's similar to the Sabbath ones in some ways. Um, so complete career retrospective. You've got pictures of Yes there. Um, and Bill gives a rundown of how he's pulled this together, how it's been arranged. And then there's an overview of each set of CDs. So the collaborator and great pictures of, of Yes and King Crimson. And lots of quotes from various people. That's a great picture of the UK, isn't it, with Anne Holdsworth there uh, and John Wetton. Composing leader. Bruford, a special guest, the improviser, even some original music, so you know that he has composed the some music. Um, some great pictures. And we've also got then a rundown of the tracks and it tells you which album the tracks are from, which is very useful if you're like me. And once you get something like this, you go off and want to explore further. I'm familiar with a lot of these, but then we move into the solo period, and which I'm not, apart from um, this Earthworks album here, which um, I have on vinyl. But a lot of this stuff is very new to me, which I'm really, really looking forward to immersing myself in and enjoying 
I, I really am. And then we've got the credits at the end. And then we're, and we're done. So fantastic set. And I'm really, as I say, got a lot to explore, but it's fabulous. So that's Bill Bruford, Making a Song and Dance, six CD box set, great little hardback book. Yeah, there's a poster, but the amount of material, and for someone like me, yep, yeah, and I bet some of you as well, got a lot of Yes, King Crimson, um, even some Earthworks, but there's so much of this material that is very, very new to me. And so I'm exploring it. It may make me jump off and buy other things, but it's very well put together. And if you're into drummers and prog, then it's absolutely essential, I would say, um, for for our rock heritage for this period of time. And I'm, it's interesting, isn't it, that as I've gone through life and I've gone into jazz fusion and jazz and, and more varied prog in many ways, listening to the improvisational pieces and especially Earthworks, um, which is the stuff I was really, really interested in. And I know there's a separate box set for Earthworks, which is quite pricey, but I thought this was a, a great place to start. And it is. So it's out on BMG Records, 6 CD box set for Bill Bruford. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the support you've given me, especially over the last few weeks. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to help more, then please have a look at becoming a patron. Stay safe. Keep playing that music. And I shall see you on my next video.